Hey there everyone, Steve Gonser, physical therapist with Run Smart Online here. Um, I actually just got done working out in one of our avail rooms here. Uh, and I was treating the patient this morning and uh, uh, we had a great conversation about a question that comes up and I think this is really important to cover. And I wanna show you this, it's about speed work. And if you have to rearrange your plan, like how should you think about speed work and harder workouts? And um, let me just go through this. So she's using our training plan, but this is gonna be good whether you're using our training plan or not. So let's go through this. So I'm gonna do my best to not shake here. So this is our training plans online that we developed that uh, puts you through my training system. But let's say you're running a half marathon and it's gonna be, I always choose this date, which is May 26th. Um, we're gonna talk about the speed workouts of this. So 16 mile or 16 week plan, 30 miles a week. Day starts on a Sunday there. We'll just put this here, desired finish time. And we're gonna show you, or I'm gonna show you what her question was about speed work and what we did, because I know it will help you. This is generally what we see, a lot of people like to break two hours in the marath half marathon. So her main thing, while this is building here, was um, busy professional, uh, over the age of 40, and if you have to rearrange your days, what should you be thinking about? Like say, like you're looking at your calendar for the week or the month, and <clears throat> it shows you have a speed workout on a Thursday, but you're not sure if you can do it. Like, and you have all these other runs. How do you how do you bring your plan and mesh it together so that you don't end up getting hurt? Which is obviously what we're all going for. Because if you can't train, you can't do well on race day. So I'm just kind of looking at here my monitor quick. I'll actually show you. I'm gonna go into our calendar and just kind of show you. This is all found on RunSmartOnline.com. But um, I'm gonna go to let's see. Um, we have like a lot of base runs early on and then we get into some of these mixed runs which are progression runs but I'm gonna go forward a week I want to go into our second month of training and I want to show you what this looks like so go to the next week and let's look at the calendar we give our runners the ability to, to rearrange their days by just kind of moving things around but if we look at the the calendar view of our runs so let's just look in here um, so let's say we have this track-based mixed run, then we have a race pace effort, so that's a big week. Um, we have, like say, okay, let's, let's take this week. So we have a base run on Sunday, base run Tuesday, and we have a temple run here. Actually, I don't like that week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it. So um, we're gonna take this week here, the three, seven, three, five, ten. Say like you have a, an issue with this week, and the principle is gonna stay the same no matter what. But let's say this this tempo run is the issue. Like you can't work out on Tuesday. So how should you rearrange it? So how can you rearrange it? Um, real quick, what I would tell anyone if you're gonna move a speed workout, there's three things. Uh, a speed workout, a long run, what's the other one? Um, any type of harder run. So I, I guess there's only two of them. Speed workout or a long run. Um, as a runner, if you're over the age of 40, I really recommend that you only bookend those. So if it's on a Wednesday, the day before the day after should not be another speed workout or a long run. Any harder efforts you want to completely kind of surround with easy pace, cross training, or a base run. So if we go back to this and the training plan here. So we have a tempo, uh, not that week, where is it? Um, yeah, this week. So we have a 7.35. What I wouldn't want someone to do is take their tempo and smush it towards a long run. Um, so if you're gonna move a, a harder workout, a tempo or a track workout, you wanna make sure that it stays near, you can see here I bookend a breast day in a base workout. Same thing for everything else. You go up here, we have a six mile recovery and a track run. I wouldn't want you to take this track and start sliding it towards a race pace effort 10K. So always, you'll always see this in our training plans, the bookends of a harder workout is base or rest. Um, at the fastest would be base. So base training to me is a workout that is conversation pace. So if you're not sure what your base pace is, we actually give you your base pace right on this training plan. But if you're not sure what your base pace is, base pace is completely conversation pace. A real easy thing to do is, is like sing the alphabet, A, B, C, D, uh, blah, blah. And if you get to halfway through the alphabet and you're gasping, or if you get to the end of the alphabet and you go, <gasps> chances are you're running a little bit too fast and your fitness is a little too high. So um, when you're thinking about this, you have rest day or base, hard workout or long run, rest day or base. You shouldn't be seeing track, tempo, track, long run. And could you get away with it? Yes, but you know, doing this for a long time as a physical therapist, these are the training mistakes that people usually make. They miss a day, they have to rearrange their week, and what they end up doing is smushing hard workouts together.
you're better off just missing something and just adding some strength training. So um, hopefully that uh, kind of clears that up. Let me know in the comments if you have questions, but that is really all I wanted to show today. Um, if, real quick, if you uh, haven't seen my previous videos, all month I've been going live and going through a bunch of different training things you guys can do to have a better 2019. Go to the Run Smart Facebook page, go to videos, there's a little tab that says videos, and watch uh, some of the other ones I put up. I showed you some great exercises, I showed you a lot of other good things you can do in your training to make this year uh, better than last. And if you're interested in having me help you out in your training, go to the link in this page or this post and uh, you can try it out for a dollar and you can get access to strength workouts, training plans, um, run form instruction, everything. But I'm back to work to see patients and I hope this helps. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another post. Bye guys.